Good day everyone and welcome to my topic which talks about the greatest common divisor. The greatest common divisor or the GCD of two or more integers is the largest integer that divides each of the integers such that their remainder is We have an example number one. What is the GCD of 2, 8? So, what you are going to do first is you are going to list down the divisors of 2 and 8. From 2, we have 1, comma, and 2. And for 8, we have 1, 2, 4, 8. So, the common divisors that we have is 2, and 1 or 1 and 2 same as 8 1 and 2 since we are looking about the high the greatest common divisor then the common the greatest common divisors of 2 and 8 is 2 okay so for example number 2 10 and 150 so same process for 10 we have the divisors 1 2 5 and 10 and for 150 we have listed all the divisors starting with 1 2 3 5 10 15 25 50 75 and 150 so obviously that the greatest common divisors of 10 and 150 is 10 okay so the gcd for number two is So, let's have another example. GCD of 20, 30 is equal to 10. So, 10 is the largest number which divides 20 and 30 with remainder as 0. Is that so? Okay, so try to solve later. So, number 4 example. GCD of 42, 120, and 285 gives equal to 3. So 3 is the largest number which divides 42, 120, and 285 with remainder as 0. So in applying this Euclid's algorithm, this is the best way to get easily the greatest common divisor. So you it is for calculating the GCD of given two numbers, or it is a, it is another shortcut in CD or the greatest common divisors. So we have the formula for the GCD for the R. Euclid's algorithm. We have GCD equals close and open parenthesis A comma B is equal to GCD close and open parenthesis B comma A mood B where A must be greater than B and A mood B must equal to we have a pseudocode of the algorithm. So we have the step step process for you to find out or for you to get the GCD. First one we have let A comma B be the two numbers. Step two A mod B is equal to R. And step three let A equals B and B must equals to R. Step number four, repeat steps two and three until mood is greater than zero. Step five, the GCD is equal to B. And step number six, that is for this example. Okay, seven mode two is equal to one. Dividing seven by two gives the remainder of one so this seven must be our a and this two must be our b because it says there that a must be greater than a 
B rather. So dividing 7 by 2 gives the remainder of 1. Another example. 42 mood 7 is equal to 0. 42 must be our A and 7 must be our B and 0 must be our R. Or that is the remainder. Dividing 42 by 7 gives the remainder 0. Let's have another example. This is another way in finding the GCD by applying Euclid's logarithm. So find the GCD of 10, comma, and 150. GCD equals 10 must be our given example here, 10, comma, and 150 equals GCD of 10, 150, mood 10. So that is the formula of Euclid's logarithm, algorithm rather. So by applying formula, so GCD equals 150, comma, 10. It says there that 150, A must be greater than B. That's why 150 must be our A and 10 must be our B equals GCB. So this 10 is our B. B comma 150 mood 10. So this 150 is our A and this is going to be our B. Next, the GCD equals 150 comma 10. So you are going to rewrite here from the left side. So continue from the right side. GCD, close an open parenthesis, 10, 150 divided by 10. So the GCD equals 150, 10 is equal to the GCD of 10 and 0. So 0, this is the remainder is zero so, so since it is already zero therefore whatever be the partner of zero must be our gcd or the greatest common divisor so since the partner of zero is 10 so therefore our gcd must be so another example what is the gcd of 1025 comma 35 so is equal to the GCD of 35 comma 1025 mood 35 so our E here is 1025 and our B must be 35 so by applying the formula so our 35 here must be our B then 1025 must be our A then mood 35 must be our B so GCD of 1025,35 is equal to GCD 35,1025 divided by 35. The GCD or the greatest common divisor equals to 35 is equal to the GCD of 35, and 5. Based on the on the uh, discussion earlier that this 5 must be our remainder since we don't have get yet the whole number or the 0 1 then therefore we are going to continue the process the discussion so gcd is equals to 35 comma 5 is equal to the gcd 5 35 mod 5 so we have the new equation form so we have 35 as our A, then 5 must be our B because 35 is greater than 5. So 35 is our A, 5 must be our B is equal to GCD 5 comma 35 mood 5. So next, the GCD is equal to 35 comma 5 is equal to the GCD of 35 divided by 5. So the divisor is 7. So se since the 7 is a whole number, then we have the remainder 0 or yeah, 0. So therefore, whatever be the partner in this of B must be our GCD. So our GCD is equal to obviously 5. 
So, last example. Find the GCD of 11, 7. Based on that example, as you all know that the two numbers given are both prime numbers. The, but GCD is equal to 11, 7 is equal to GCD 7, 11, mood 7. So, a must, this 11 must be our A and 7 must be our B. G, C, D. So, this is going to be our equation. So, by applying the formula, 7, 11, mood 7. So, continue. The G, C, D then 7, 11 divided by 7. The G, C, D of 7 divided by 11 divided by 7 we have GCD of 7 and 4. So 4 must be the remainder of 11 and 7. Then the GCD is equal to 7, my comma 4 is equal to GCD 4, comma 7, mood 4. That is the new equation form. Continue. 7, the GCD of 4, comma 7. 7 divided by 4, we have the GCD of 4, 3. 7 divided by 4, we have the remainder of 3. Since we don't have get yet the whole number, so continue the process. The GCD equals 4 and 3 is equal to GCD 3, 4, mood 3. So that is the new equation form. So let's continue. The GCD of Corollas and Robert is 3 comma 4 divided by 3 so we have the gcd of 3 comma 1 so we don't get yet the zero so or the whole number so continue the new equation was formed the gcd equals 3 comma 1 equals the gcd of 1 as our b 3 mood 1 so the gcd of 1 comma 3 divided by 1 the GCD, plus and parenthesis 1 and 0. So therefore, since we have already get the 0, then therefore we can find out, we can tell that the GCD is equal to 1. So the divisor that can um, divide both 11 and 7 is just only a 1. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have learned something from the from my discussion that talks about the greatest common divisor. Kapon kap.